Chapter 1 Fatty Chin Fong You are listening at FameTV.info This was the secondary school from Jiangzhou Normal University, as the best affiliated school in the province, it had an excellent learning atmosphere here. 5 o'clock p.m., evening time 26 high school students were studying and the classroom was still bright. The entire classroom was quiet. Each student worked very hard to review their homework. Right now at the desk in corner of the classroom, there was a very fat student pretended to look at the book in his hand. His eyes were not on the textbook, but on his cell phone under his bag. The fat man's mouth muttered with dissatisfaction. His name was Chin Fong. His height was around 1.72 meters tall and weighs 216 pounds, 108 kg. His table was in the corner of the classroom behind many students. Only when the test results were announced, that the students in the classroom realized that there was still him in the class. His rank was always at the top three in the class, counted from the bottom, lowest rank. Chen Feng was usually reserved and rarely communicated with other people. More often, he hid in a corner and read a small book by himself. People like Chen Feng were ridiculed by everyone naturally. No matter how good the school was, there were always many students who liked to make trouble and laughed at others. Fat pigs, fatty man, blah 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 that any name related to fat would always fell on Chen Feng. In the beginning, Chen Feng would get angry, but over time, he used to it. After all, people like him always lacked confidence. Over time, he had developed a very open mindset. Why you need to use other people's strengths compared to your own weaknesses? Isn't it interesting to be normal? I'm living like this, so what? People like Chen Feng who were lazy, fat, and bad at learning were often called by his nickname. Damn, this Feng Xiaoyu man is actually a eunuch, this book is just my taste, why he stop update? I am waiting for his updates every day, bastard. Chen Feng forgot that he was in the class, he cursed the novel in his cell phone out loud. A voice suddenly emerged from the quiet classroom, you could imagine yourself. Of course for a while, the eyes of the whole class fell on Chen Feng figure. Chen Feng seemed to realize something, he suddenly looked up, then he saw the class teacher Sun Minghai walking towards him with a grim face. T. Teacher. Chen Feng's voice suddenly stuttered. Chen Feng, what are you doing? Sun Minghai's voice suddenly became louder. Look at you, look at all your classmates, what are you doing? You are only the high school student. If you don't study hard now, do you want to continue to college in the future, ha? Huh? So lame. This fatty is looking for dead. Trash. His classmates began to whisper without holding their voice. Chen Feng didn't care. He got used to it already. Chen Feng had planted a bullet. Proof in his mind and he looked back to them like saying. Come, fire at me with everything you have. I don't care at all. I am invincible has ha ha. His face had very thick skin. He would never put their word in his head. Teacher had punished Chen Feng to stand at his seat. Chen Feng began to activate his long-standing skill. This lord will stand here. So what? Even I spit on you, you can do nothing to me. Chen Feng secretly thought. Seeing Chen Feng's dead pig who wasn't afraid of boiling water behavior, Sun Minghai really had desire to slam Chen Feng's head to the ground, but he forced himself to calm down. He couldn't punish the students, especially in high schools like this. If the physical punishment scandal was revealed, he might not keep his job. You keep standing there until the class is over. As he said that, Sun Minghai shook his head and left to his deck. Chen Feng just stood at his table like that. As for others' eyes around him, he didn't care at all. He thought that as he stood like that, maybe his body could consume the fat along the way and made himself a little thinner. Among all those eyes, there was another look from a very beautiful girl that sat in the front. The girl's name was Fang Yu, a beautiful girl in class 6. The girl that was both beautiful and had good grades. 
Naturally, she was the dream girlfriend of countless boys in the school. Ring 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 asterisk the school bell rang up. Chen Feng took his bag and left the school with the heavy steps. As for the school bag, sorry, that thing, he really didn't know what it was for. He actually carried it for fun. He came to the garage, unlocked the lock and he rode his bicycle while singing to his home. Chen Feng's home was far from the school. On the way, there was a sigh that the street lights were broken. No one fixed it for years. Chen Feng faintly whistled. Suddenly, he felt the presence of someone behind him. He didn't need to look back. Chen Feng knew that Fang Yu was following him. And for why Fang Yu was following him, Chen Feng thought that because maybe she only followed the same road. Along the way, there was no conversation between the two. Fang Yu's eyes on Chen Feng were slightly different from other. After all, after school every night, there was only him who was by her side on the way home. For a young girl's psychology, if she had a boy nearby, she would feel safer. Chen Feng admitted that he felt a little happy that he could accompany his pretty classmate every day. Chen Feng knew his role very well. His academic achievements were bad, he was fat and never talked with other. He was always very self-conscious. He never had another thought in his head. When he had to accompany her, his mind was very clear. However, being able to accompany a school beauty was still made Chen Feng a little nervous. The way they go home was relatively long. In addition, this road was dark and quiet. Fang Yu was afraid of traveling alone at night. So she thought of Chen Feng was her knight that guarded her, the princess, to her castle. In the Fang Yu's mind, although Chen Feng was fat and disgusted, but staying behind him every day, she didn't feel any discomfort at all, she rather felt safe and secure in her heart. Just as she was busy thinking, she began to slow down her speed. The fat man's figure gradually disappeared into the darkness. Fang Yu couldn't help but speed up her bicycle. However, at this moment, a figure came out of the darkness suddenly stopped directly in front of her. Fang Yu could not help but startled, a large hand covered her mouth directly, dragged her straight from the bicycle. Soon there were four more men beside him. These people had an evil smile on their faces. Little girl, let's have fun with brother. A bulk man grinned at her. I have been staring at you for a long time, oh, look at your smooth skin and soft flesh, have you ever been touched by the man before? It's okay, all of us guarantee to make you very satisfied tonight, hee hee. The other man began licking his mouth and looked horny at her. Woo. Woo. Fang Yu struggled hard. She was just an ordinary schoolgirl. When did she ever go through something like this before? She tried to free herself from them. Then she bited hard on that man's hand that cover her mouth. Ah, how dare you bite me! The man who covered Fang Yu suddenly shouted in pain. Somebody, please help me. Fang Yu shouted as loud as she could, but immediately, the thug started closing her mouth again. She fought hard at him, that man smiled evilly to her. Little beauty, even if you scream till your throat hurt, it is no use because no one will save you here hee hee. Fang Yu's heart was in despair. Maybe the only person who could hear her voice was Chen Feng, but could that kind of man come to save her? Fatty, ugly, cowardly, unconfident Chen Feng, if you come to save me, I will never hate you again. All kinds of thoughts flickered in Fang Yu's mind, all. Oh. Suddenly a voice came to her ear. A man that she was shouting in her mind had appeared before her. She saw Chen Feng was riding his bicycle very fast towards her. Bang asterisk Chen Feng rode his bike and crashed at the gangs. His fat figure with graceful posture fell in a distance from his bicycle and rolled on the ground. Yes, right. He just rolled on the ground and his body was round and funny just like a big balloon. Fang Yu saw the chance, she ran quickly behind Chen Feng's back. At this moment, in Fang Yu's eyes, this fat man was very cute, just like the hero in her dream. Chen Feng began standing up and stared hard at them. 
the four men's eyes were also fixed on Chen Feng at the same time. One of the men looked at Chen Feng coldly and said, Ouch, son, your courage is big enough, dare want to steal my goodness from this grandfather's hand, ah. Are you tired of living? Why why you quickly run away? Chen Feng didn't care about their threat and started shouting at Fang Yu. Fang Yu returned to her mind and rushed into the distance. When the group saw that, they wanted to follow her but Chen Feng stopped right in front of the four men. He was breathing hard while shouted loudly, I dot I say. Why dot you should leave obediently immediately. I have already called the police, the police, the police, will come soon, you, you cannot escape. When hearing this, the group was startled a little. Soon, they run and surround Chen Feng. Damn it, you dare play this with this grandfather. The punks glanced at each other, and suddenly, he started punching straight into Chen Feng's eyes. Bang asterisk Chen Feng slumped down to the ground, and numerous punches and kicks immediately started falling over his body. Suddenly, he heard the voice. Congratulations, you have been chosen by Hero Extraction System. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.